Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here, and today I am here with the IK Multimedia iLoud Micro Monitors. Now these things, when I first heard this, this blew me away. I mean, I've watched all the reviews, I've heard all the good things about it, and I thought, okay, they're pretty good. And it had bass, like you could just about feel that kind of bass. Now for these micro monitors that'll fit anywhere, anywhere, if you got a studio that's really small and you can't even put some decent monitors in there, this will blow away some decent monitors. <laughs> oh boy, you know what it's like if I had to explain it. Most cars in the world can do zero to 60 miles per hour or zero to 100 kilometers per hour in about nine or 10 seconds. So if you've ever been in a Tesla Model S, it can do zero to 60 or zero to 100 kilometers per hour in two and a half seconds. It's like when you get in that car and it accelerates, it's like whiplash, it throws your neck back. It is so fast. That's the same kind of reaction I had to these. They are that good. So I thought it would be best to take my best keyboard. This is a Kawai ES8. It's, you know, $2,500 retail, about $2,000 street price. But this is the absolute best sound system that's built in. It's got a built-in amp and speakers. And basically, it's one of the best for a slab-style keyboard. Now, that doesn't compete with the console-type keyboards, but for slab-style, it's one of the best. So I thought I would put the iLoud micro monitors up for a test against this to see how it compares. And again, I was blown away. So here's the piano on the Kawai ES8. Sounds pretty good, right? So let's hear that again with the iLoud micro monitors. That low end, that bass response is just unbelievable. So let's try that again. Here we go, just the Kawai ES8. And again with the iLoud micro monitors. Alright, so let's take that a step further and let's go ahead and try one of the built-in rhythms over here. And we'll start out with the just the Kawai ES8. All right, so let's try the same thing again with the micro monitors. Here we go. Listen to that bass end. What a difference. And I'm using a pair of um, Shure SM57s, and I've placed it such that it's an equal distance from the micro monitors and the built-in monitors here. So, And there's no tweaking of any kind, regardless of which one I'm using. So let's try that again. Uh, we've got a demo mode here we can try. <laughs> Pretty good. 
good. That's the micro monitor. Let's hear what that sounds like with the Kawai ESA. Not quite as good. All right, now, here's a bass demo. Here's the Kawai ES-8. Not bad, right? Now, let's try the micro monitors. Much more pronounced bass. What a pleasure. Here we go, Kawhi ES8. Try the same thing with the IK Multimedia micro monitors. So I think you can hear the difference between the two. Here's a church organ. This is on the Kauai. Let's try the same thing again with the uh, micro monitors. Much fuller. Okay, so I got a rhythm section here. Let's try that out too. And we'll start out with just the kawaii. Now let's try it with the micro monitors. Much, much fuller. Let's get down to the nitty gritty over here. The frequency response on these micro monitors is 55 hertz, which is unheard of for something this size up to 20,000 hertz and that's at minus 3 db if you're going at minus 10 db it goes down to 45 hertz to 22 kilohertz and as far as loudness this does get loud you've got 107 spl or sound pressure level at 19 inches or 50 centimeters and that's pretty loud so the tweeters that's a three quarter inch and the woofers are just three inch paper cones. Unbelievable. The kind of sound that you get from this is just unbelievable. So if you have a small studio and you are looking for monitors, this has one of the flattest responses you can get, which is ideal for mixing. And it sounds great. Now, the Kawai ES8, which is, like, like I mentioned, one of the best keyboards out there that has a built-in amp and speakers. Now, if you were to take this and take away the built-in amp and speakers, how much would it cost? Maybe $300 less? It's probably good a guess. So for that $300 less, you can go ahead and purchase a pair of these iLoud micro monitors and not only do you have a better frequency response, not only do you have more power, not only do you have better sounding, but you're not limited to this built-in right here. You can take this and move this wherever you want. And on the bottom there, it has these mounts so that you can screw it into any standard microphone stand. So that's pretty cool too. Now there's four amps here, and this is a class D amplifier. So basically you've got 50 watts RMS, uh, 70 peak, and those 50 watts RMS is divided like this. 18 watts for the woofer on each side, 
that's 36 watts right there and 7 watts for the tweeter on each side that's another 14 watts so 36 plus 14 gives you your 50 watts and it's also Bluetooth compatible so if you've got yourself a an iPhone or an Android phone or a tablet or something else you can actually broadcast your Bluetooth here to this and it'll take care of that now on the back it's got some connections there to hook it up for the uh, RCA phono plugs left and right or a 1 8 inch uh, stereo mini jack and they actually include a cable with that so you can take the uh, eighth inch stereo mini jack plug it into the back and then you've got your two RCA left and right now most professional um, so, uh, most professional boards out there use quarter inch so you might have to get yourself couple of these this is a converter from RCA to quarter inch so you just put that on on both ends and you're all set you can get this at places like uh, partsexpress.com or you can do it the other way hook the uh, RCA cables up to the micro monitors and take your eighth inch stereo mini plug and hook that into your device or they have adapters so that you can convert this to your standard quarter inch stereo stuff so you can put it in the headphones of a lot of equipment today now that bass response i mean that really is a feat of engineering but they've got this tuned port right here and you can actually put your hand in front of it and you can feel the sound pressure coming out it'll vibrate your hand so that is pretty cool stuff and what it uses is a Class D amplifier. Now, Class D amplifiers, they're engineered such that the more voltage that you put into this, the higher the wattage that drives the speakers. So, unlike most other things that have um, a power supply between your AC mains and the units itself, there's a little brick there, this converts that AC mains to 24 volts DC. That's a lot of voltage. Most equipment uses 9 or 12 volts. Occasionally you'll see 15, but this is 24 because more voltage in a Class D amplifier results in more wattage to your speakers, which means louder for you. So in summary, I would have to say this is a heavyweight champ with a welterweight body and to give you a little bit more let's go back to the rhythm section and pick something else a funk one on the Kauai sounds pretty good right Now let's try it with the uh, micro monitors. Much fuller, much deeper bass. Man, I love these micro monitors. Here's a different one. Here's Funk 3. Try the same thing again with the micro monitors. Again, much fuller, much deeper, more bass. Let's go a little bit further here and let's try it with something else. This is the Kauai. Try it with the micro monitors. These are probably the best monitors that I've ever heard in this size. 
just unreal. It's like magic. Hope this has helped you out. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.